Hello everybody, my name is Nadia and I'm from Brazil. Today I'm gonna talk about my favorite book which is Les Miserables from Victor Hugo. This version it's a Portuguese version but you can find this book in plenty of language because he is a class a classical. Well this for me this book it's from extremely importance to the society because he brings up plenty of subjects, vital subjects such as poverty, inequality, ex convict and many others. And for me, for me not, there are a lot of characters in this book, but for me the most important character it is from far Victor Hugo. And the history, the story starts with Victor Hugo and telling about his life. He was a man who used to live with his sister and nephews in France around in 1816, 1813, more or less this. And it was winter in France and the winter there used to be extremely cold and hard to find a job. And because of this, Jean Valjean was not working, his sister was not working, they didn't have money to buy food or anything, and they were very starving, including the kids. And because of this, Jean Valjean decided to steal a piece of bread from a bakery to give it to his nephews and sister. And, um, and he was sold by someone and sent to the jail and Jean Valjean supposed that to stay at the jail for five years for stealing a piece of bread but because he tried to run away more than once he had to stay there for 90 years almost 20 years and then after Jean Valjean being released from the jail he started looking for a job and a place to stay, a house, a hotel, some, some, something like this for him to stay there at least one night. But unfortunately, because he was an ex-convict, nobody wanted to give a job and a place to him to stay. It was extremely difficult for him to find it and Jean Valjean was irritated angry, frustrated, all these feelings, all bad feelings that you can imagine he was feeling because after he stayed at the jail for almost 20 years and nobody was going to see him and also he stayed there all this year because he stole a piece of bread and then because he tried to run away, it was really I can't imagine me in this situation. I think it's extremely difficult. And after he he being tired of looking for a place or job, he decided to sleep in front of a house. And coincidentally, the man who was living in this house was a bishop. And when this bishop arrived in his house and he saw Jean Valjean sleeping in front of his house, he immediate, immediately said to Jean Valjean going to his house and spend that night there. And then Jean Valjean stayed there and he had a huge meal, um, a lovely dinner with the bishop. And this part of the book is very remarkable because he is sleeping quickly and fast and he looked at so um starving and it's okay the bishop never said anything about this for him but the bishop was very lovely and kind of with Jean Valjean and after the meal the bishop gave for him a place for him to sleep a lovely place a comfortable place and Jean Valjean stayed there but after the bishop slept the Jean Valjean decided to steal the silverware from the bishop because he saw this when he was having the dinner the bishop left him having the dinner with all the silverware and Jean Valjean 
suddenly decide to steal this and he ran away with all the silverware but he was found from the for the policy and on the next day the policy went to the house of the bishop with Jean Valjean and all the staffs and said to the bishop that Jean Valjean had stolen this and Jean Valjean was going to send to the jail but the bishop that moment said to the policy actually said to Jean Valjean you went so early we went out so early and I gave it for you the silverware but I didn't give it for you the other stuffs like the candlesticks here are two candlesticks for you and keep it keep the silverware with you as well it's all yours because I gave it for you and the policy understood that he was gave, giving for from for Jean Valjean and he didn't steal anything but actually he did but the bishop didn't tell it and then after the policy went out uh, the bishop said to Jean Valjean please as the same way that I am helping you try to do this for other people try to give your soul to God and be a good man and because someone strongly believed in Jean Valjean he totally changed his life after me, after some years he he sold all the silvers and he became a rich man and also he opened a factory and he gave plenty of job for a lot of women and he was helping the society and also that small city and everybody that was living there he became another man with a huge heard but actually for me Jean Valjean always had a lovely heart because if he it's it's not it's not everybody that's going to steal a bread to give it to his or her nephew it's not everybody that's going to do to do this it's not that I say that this is correct this is not correct I know but I try to think as Jean Valjean was thinking in that moment he in that moment he just wanted to help his family and i know unfortunately that in plenty of countries nowadays it it happened yet and it's a shame because everybody's supposed to have at least food at least enough food but it's okay and then after many years Jean Valjean was a rich man and helping a lot of people but his past was always with him and there was another man called Javert who was all the time in being so strict with his job that he was, he, he was trying to look for Jean Valjean to send him to the jail again and in this moment of Jean Valjean being a rich man, there was another character called Fantine. This girl was working at the factory of Jean Valjean, but she was suffering a lot of prejudice from the people that was working around her because she had a kid and she didn't have enough money to keep this kid with her this little girl with her and she decided to, to leave this kid called corset with a couple who was extremely for me annoying and interested and this couple was protecting protecting corset and this couple supposed to give support and food with the money that Fantini was sending for them. But on the reality, it was not happening. But of course, Fantini was not knowing about this. But yes, the another character was Fantini, who was having a lot of problems with his life and with the people around his job, trying to to prejudice his life and because of this this is another character that i can't tell more about this because it's going to be spoiler but jean valjean is going to help this later 
and Corset is another character which is this, the daughter of Fantini and Jean Valjean is going to help this family and also the other character it is the Thénardier which is the couple when you are gonna see there plenty of times in this book and sometimes I feel so uh, irritated and annoying and oh my gosh why do I like this and unfortunately there are a lot of people like them and what I like so much in this book guys it is that there are plenty of love and passionate for in Jean Valjean because before he been he suffered a lot in his past he became a pe person with plenty of love in his life and he never gave up of anybody he was like all the time he worried about people and trying to help people and this i think victor hugo it's um a great it, he was a great writer and a genius because all that he wrote here we can read and feel like oh my god I, I don't want to stop reading this book despite this book being so long and sometimes so detailed with plenty of description I can say that he's awesome I it I, I know why he is a classical because we can learn so much with this book and we can bring this for nowadays and think about people in extremely proved and try to understand them and to help them in some way. I think when you read this book you never when you read this book you are never going to the same person. You you didn't suppose to be the same person because this book can change your life for the rest of your life and just if you like history you can see plenty of parts detailed like the battle of Waterloo. I don't not sure if I'm saying right but it was with uh, Napoleon Bonaparte when he lost and Yes, he has a lot of detail about this part and also the war, war, a little war that was happening in France after the French Revolution and because many of people was care and worry about the future of uh, French and because the inequality and because plenty of people are suffering without a job and they were very scared about the future and yes there was a lot of revolution which in this book we can see and guys what i can say is if you have never read this book please give your time for this it's so important you're never gonna see the same person after you read this book and if you care about other people, if you care about the poverty in your country or in other countries, and if you care about the feelings of other people, probably you are going to love this book. You are going to see this book, read this book, and oh my God. Yes, so this is what I can say about this book. The only, like, problem it is that he has plenty of details and sometimes this can be a little bit annoying because you want to know more about the story of Jean Valjean and Corset and Fantine and the Thénardiers and the other characters but he many times stops just in one part and stay there giving details and if and you feel like oh my god go away go away i want to know more but just eat but the most important thing is this book it's awesome and you suppose you must read this book as soon as possible so thank you so much for your attention i think this was my biggest my hugest my largest video on this channel for a while and I really hope you have enjoyed this video. And again, I'm sorry for my mistakes, guys. As I said, 
I'm from Brazil. I don't speak English fluently, but I'm trying to improve my English as much as I can and to bring good subjects for you in this channel. Thanks so much and see you on the next video.